Right, in this video, we are going to look at the new Lee Deluxe Automatic Processing Press, the new 2023 model. And we're also going to look at the ACP to Deluxe APP Update Kit. Okay, so let's talk about the Automatic Processing Press Lee brought out in 2020. So, in 2020, we brought out the automatic processing press. Brilliant little kit if you wanted to process cases. You can uh, deprime on it, you can size on it, you can prime a pocket switch, you can size bullets, you can bulge past. The, the thing had a lot of uses. For processing cases, there wasn't a better tool on the market. Okay. They sold it in two options. Now, this is important. You have to take note here now. The first option was just the press, the basic press, with no case feeder or anything like that. So it was a press, bottle adapter, express shell holder, and a bridge lock bushing in the top, nothing else. That was called the automatic processing press. They also sold a deluxe automatic processing press. Now remember, so they sold a deluxe automatic processing press, what, that was the APP with free express shell holders, and the case feed and bullet feed options. It was a single pipe system like this. You had two of these. Um, each one took a different size of pipe. So what there was for 22 cal bullet sizing up to 45 cal bullet sizing. There was everything included there. You could feed cases, everything. So that was the deluxe APP. And it was a brilliant piece of kit. We all bought that. I never stopped the basic model because I thought that's pointless. Why would I want that without the case feeding? Because the brilliance in these presses is the case and bullet feeding options that you get. Okay, then Lee gave us the automatic case primer, which is basically an ACP press that was adapted to prime cases. Now, that was a brilliant little priming press, also featuring a case feeder, which you had to buy separately. Um, but that thing could prime cases like mm, it was so easy because the design was it, it was placing the case over the primer and there was almost no pressure to prime the cases so it was quick and easy brilliant piece of kit then this year Lee came out with this new deluxe IPP press now this is not the old deluxe IPP press so be careful when you want to buy this press this press features priming also. It can do everything the APP did, but it also features priming. So you have one press now that can do everything. So this is the kit you want. It's 91898. So be careful when you buy it. There's a couple of shops still selling the old deluxe APP press and they never changed the wording. They still got it as the deluxe APP. It is not this model. Check it out. You want to see the one with priming and the roller handle. Okay. So this press now ships with um, a priming feature on it, it's got the roller handle, it's got a 4 tube case feeder it's, it's a lot of value on here um, this is a bit more expensive than a normal APP press but it features a lot, this, this is a, a, a processing press that can do almost anything you can prime on it obviously, you can deprime on it, you can size on it, you can size bullets on it you can bulge bust, you can prime a pocket switch all those nice things you can do on one press. So this is the one. If you're in the market for APP press, this is the one you want to buy. If you just want to prime um, process cases and your main thing is going to be uh, bullet sizing, the normal APP is probably your better bet. Um, but this can also bullet size in a very, very clever way. It, it features um, loading the bullets into the pipes and things like that. We'll get back to that now. But getting back to the ACP, the automatic case primer. So a lot of guys bought the automatic case primer. It's a brilliant priming press. Now suddenly Lee doesn't make it anymore. What do we do now? We're not going to get that primer trough anymore. We're not going to get that little torsion spring anymore. What now? Lee came up with an answer for you guys. You buy this. ACP to relax APP update kit. Product number 92046. This will convert your ACP to a deluxe ACP. So I had an ACP press here. So I just bought myself the update kit. Yeah. 
So inside the kit, you will get the roller handle, which is amazing. I mean, this this is just so much easier on there. I was always fighting against this, but this thing is, yeah, it works. Okay, you will get the new rail with the priming system and the primer trough. You will not get a primer tray. You have to take that from your ACP press. You will get the new insert here with the inserts for priming and depriming. You have to use these. From your ACP, you have to keep your priming pin and springs for both small and large. And that's basically it. And it's enough to convert my press to a deluxe now. I already had a case feeder on here. Um, everybody that bought an ACP from me bought a Fortune case feeder. That makes sense to have it on the press because that's what makes this press so quick. You have a case feed option on it. Otherwise, you just have a fancy single stage press. So this is a, a, a nice setup now. So I've got it set up for primer here. Let's prime a case quick. The priming system is an adaption of the 6-pack Pro and Pro 1000's priming system. It's got a slider, you've got your primers and your primer trough away from the priming area, so it's safe to use with any brand of primer now. It will feed a primer on, onto the priming pin uh, using the spring here. When you set the spring up, make sure it's as straight as possible, you don't want any kinks in it. If there's kinks, the tension's not going to be right. It's the same on the 6-pack Pro and the Pro 1000. But everything is explained in the instructions, it's very easy. Um, the priming action on this press is so smooth, it's like the ACP you have. Um, the top part here grabs the case, it's shallow, you don't use shallow this on this, it grabs the case, pushes it down onto the primer. You, so you've got force from both ends placing the primer inside the case and it's so smooth. So let's do one quick, so I can show you just how smooth and easy that is. That's now primed. And look at it. Perfect. Just below flush. Oh, a case should be primed. You won't get cases primed better than that. The priming system on this works excellently. A couple of things you have to look out for. When you insert your inserts and with the locking tab here, just make sure it's locked. There should be no play on this. It must just go up and down, not side to side. If it does move side to side, you will get flip primers. But follow the instructions and everything works perfectly. Yes, up there again with the instructions. So this is now my deluxe APP press, which is brilliant. I love this piece. Priming system works. I've been testing it for a while now. I had one or two issues with flip primers, but that is because the priming insert wasn't properly inserted. There was a bit of play in it and it would flip the priming with the primer with the action of the press. Now, on these presses, there's always something to act to shape this to feed the primers. It's still a gravity fed system. But now what happens here is as you go up, you will see that will pull the primer tray to the side like that and that will make sure primers are being fed. Um, what else is there to look for? That's about it. It's, it's, it's a brilliant system. And remember, it's still a gravity fed system. So if your primers are going to run out, you basically get you there, it's not going to prime. So keep it topped up. It's a gravity fed system. All these systems are like that. And it works. The priming on this press is super easy, simple, and it, it's one of the plus points of this press. The other plus point of the press is what else you can do with this press. So if you buy the press, the Deluxe APP press, you will also get in there, except you'll get a Fortune case feeder, you get the roller handle, everything like this, but you will also get a D-Prime kit. Now, that will feature a D-Prime pin like this, that's made for the APP and ACP, and you will get this insert here, is for D-Prime. So now you can D-Prime your cases. So for you out wet tumbling, you can just put your 30 cases in here, Deprime them, then we tumble them and carry on from there. So that's a good plus point. You can also size on the press. Okay? But to do that, you will have to get yourself a bridge lock bushing for your die. Um, speaking of this, Lee sells their dies now with these bushings on for the six pack pro and a pro one pound so to do an easy caliber change because they did a way worth 
studded, so these bushings are the way to go now. So you just buy one of those for your place and you can size it. The other thing that you're going to have to buy is shell holders, the express shell holders. Now, you will get in the kit, if you buy the press, you will get a, a shell holder adapter. So that's there. The only thing you have to buy is shell holders. Then you get deep prime and size at the same time on the press. My preferred way of doing it. Um, I don't wear tumble. I use a dry tumbler. So for me, it just makes sense to get the sizing operation out of the way one time. But if you are sizing on these presses with these express shell holders, you need to loop your cases. So what I do is I take this one tube of heat glue. This is rubbing alcohol from a local pharmacy, 500 mils. I mix these two in a spray bottle like this, shake it. I spray my cases. I leave it to dry a bit. I've got a firm coat of lube on my cases like this, and that is enough to make sure that the cases don't get stuck, stuck in your um, sizing die. Now you can do it with rifle cases also. With rifle cases, add a bit more lube and make sure you get a little bit of lube, not a lot, inside the neck. And I have done two to three cases on my APP press without issue. Nothing gets stuck. But lube your cases if you are going to size on the press. So that's the sizing operation and we spoke about deep priming on the press. We've got priming on the press. Now you can bulge bust. You buy the Lee um, bulge bust kit for the APP press. If you're bulge busting 9mm, buy a 9mm Makarov factory crimp die, not a 9mm Parabellum factory crimp die. Um, I've got a whole article on my website on why and how it works and all that. But the 9mm Makarov to bulge bust 9mm. For 40, you're going to use a 40. For 45, whoever does that, you're going to use a 45. Right. So you can bulge bust on the press. You've got your case here. You just feed your cases upside down when you bulge bust because you bulge bust down. Then you can primer pocket swage on the press also. You buy the Lee APP um, primer pocket swager. Set that in. It's the most effortless primer pocket swager on the market. And it's case fed, so it's quick. That's the trick of these APP presses, is you've got a case feeder. It just makes a lot of single stage operations almost progressive. It just makes speeds things up easily. Then the one thing about the APP Deluxe that I looked at and I thought, oh, we're missing something here, and that's bullet sizing. So you can get the bullet sizing kit, it fits in there, it works everything 100%. But there's no bullet feeding pipes like you used to get with the APP press. So that's why I say with, if bullet sizing is your main thing you want to do, buy the normal APP press. But I had a conversation with a friendly gentleman from Lee yesterday after I saw a video on their website. And he showed me something that's, yeah, that's great for bullet sizing. So this is a bullet feed magazine the new one from Lee's new inline bullet feeder which will be our next video yeah so you feed your bullets in here and much like the case feeder it feeds the bullets up from there and you've got five tubes and that and you get them in different sizes for different calibers so he's i saw a video where they had this on here feeding the bullets into the bullet sizing kit and i thought that's not long enough to put on there, but then he showed me a trick, remove this ball, replace it with this ball, or any other ball, it doesn't matter, there's no, it doesn't matter if it's imperial or metric, but if you've got one of these lying around, take this ball, replace it there, set it up there, and you've got your bullet sizing feeding kit, now you've got a bullet feeder for your ATP press, what Lee's also doing is, they're selling a, a the new bullet sizing kit that's made for this, that they got something I don't know where this fits on there, and they got sell a plate that goes in here and it closes it off. And your bullet sizer goes to the bottom of the press and that goes to the bottom of the way. So you sizing your bullets into this already fills these up. And you take your full 
bullet feed magazine like this and you can just go put it onto your Pro 6000 and carry on loading from there. That's some neat tricks that Lee is coming up with. So, yeah, that sorts the bullet sizing on the Deluxe ATP press for me. I think this is, a, this is much better than having one tube that you're going to have to keep filling. So if you can do that, you probably get 100 bullets in here, 9 more bullets in here. They sell these for 223, they sell them for 45, for almost all calibers. And we get them loose like this. You can buy them loose like this. When you buy the inline bullet feed die, you get one like this, but you can buy extras of these. That, that is going to speed things up tremendously with bullet sizing. If you're sizing bullets, you can take this, put it in there, fill it up, go to your six pack pro, carry on loading. That is a game changer. But that is basically that with the Deluxe ATP press. Um, I haven't had a lot of time with this. I've, I've primed a couple of cases, I've pre-primed a couple of cases, I've sized a couple of cases, I've tested everything, I'm happy. This is working. Um, everything on here for me is perfect. There's a couple of things here to look out for when you insert the, for the priming system, when you insert this, make sure it's tight, um, it's locked here. There's a lock here for the primer feeder that you can lock the primer feeder off. So you can keep your primers in there and carry on sizing or bulge buzzing, everything like that. It, it's just such a handy little press. Um, another thing, the springs, just make sure the springs are set correctly and straight as possible. There's no twists in them and things in them. And then you won't have any primer problems or case feeding problems or bullet feeding problems for that matter. It's just such an easy little great press now. So we've gone from the APP press, we've gone to the ACP press, we had these two presses and everybody thought, yeah, can't we combine this? He answered our, our wishes. This thing is amazing. So remember, if you want a deluxe APP press, make sure you buy the correct model, okay? Check it out nicely, make sure, check the code, make sure you get the right one. If you have an ACP press, get yourself one of these kits. You're going to need this. It just turns this press into where I used to have an APP press and an ACP press. I now have no need for this anymore. Put that away. I've got an automatic processing press that can do everything. Deep prime, prime, size bullets, bulge bus, size cases, primer pocket switch, fantastic. A lot of value for your money. Thanks guys.